Hello and welcome everyone to the Evolve podcast, supporting you to connect with the power of your soul, rise above all your limits, and give and receive more love in all forms. I am your host, Tanya Penny, occupational therapist, illness and trauma guide, spiritual alchemist, and author of the Connect with the Divine You book and journals. And in today's episode, I'm really being called and excited to share with you about acceptance versus forgiveness. So this is something that I've been teaching for a while, and I did do a podcast on acceptance a while back, but I did not cover it in this way. So there is a lot of talk out and about about forgiving forgiving others for wronging you, forgiving yourself. And honestly, I don't believe that is where we need to be focusing. And I believe that this forgiveness uh, belief, if you will, can even cause more harm to our wounded parts. Because many of us have been, I'm going to say, pushed to what I call forced forgiveness. And forced forgiveness definitely doesn't work. Um, thinking I have to, I should, et cetera, um, forgive this person or forgive myself. So bear with me. This may seem uh, a little confusing, but I'm going to explain it as best as I can now. So forgiveness implies that someone did something wrong, whether the someone was you or it was somebody else. Now, from a soul level, that is not possible. From a soul perspective, which I know many of you have a very good soul perspective, we agreed to come in and play different roles or different parts in each other's movies, in each other's lives. And we've agreed to every single thing that has happened to us. And whether we did it to somebody else or somebody did it to us, we we agreed to be to be that person, to do that thing or to have that thing done to us. So just from that perspective, there is no need to forgive because no one has done anything wrong. Now, again, this is from a soul perspective. I'm going to get into the human perspective in a moment. Because as most of you know, I teach that we are made up of human and soul, right? We are, we, people, people often say we are soul. We are a spirit soul that is in this human body, having a human experience. Um, and this is the lifetime really where we're meant to merge. We're meant to integrate our human and our soul spirit self. So forgiveness isn't necessary because no one has done anything wrong from a soul perspective. Okay, now let's move into more of the human part, and then we're going to go back to the soul. So the human part is really we need to accept what has happened to us. From a human perspective, again, we need to accept these things did happen, or I did this thing. And I'm going to give some examples in a moment, but whether it was us that we quote unquote are saying did something wrong, or we're saying somebody else did something wrong to us, the human part of us needs to accept number one, that it happened, right? Because we can't, we can't take back whether we did it or somebody else did it. We can't un unhappen it, right? <laughs> we have to accept what happened did happen. Validated is another way to say this. And we know that we can't change the past. So acceptance of what happened is necessary to move on. So we also need to accept the way we feel, the emotions that we have around this thing that happened, whether, again, it was to us or something that we did. Right? It's accepting this happened. This is how I feel about it. This is what I believe about it, my human self. We can't just go straight to the spiritual perspective 
we still have to take care of the human part of us that experienced these negative things or that did, quote unquote, did something negative or something that brought us something negative. And again, it's not that we want to hold on to these emotions. That's why I'm saying it's we have to accept the emotions, accept what happened, accept the emotions, accept the belief systems that we picked up. And then we have to feel and release the emotions in a healthy way, whether it's anger, whether it's shame or guilt or sadness or fill in the blank, fear. Um, those are the parts that we really want to focus on, right? And forgiveness is going to be way out in left field for these parts. And for some of us, forgiveness is from our human self is never going to happen. I don't know if my my younger parts are ever going to forgive my mother or my father for what they did. And I don't expect them to, right? As a divine parent, or another way to say that is my higher self soul, right? My divine self, my divine parent, it doesn't expect my, my younger parts that are very human to understand and to forgive. My job is just to keep showing up and letting them feel what they feel, express what they express, and soothing whatever limiting beliefs and fears they picked up given that, that experience. And then again, coming back to the soul perspective, at some point, we want to begin to ask, why from a soul perspective, and this is not for your human younger parts, this is for your divine self, your divine parent, your higher self, why, from a soul perspective, did I ask for these experiences, whether it was something that was done to me or something that I did to other somebody else right? or or done did to myself? So let me give a few examples. So, okay, let's start with um, a, a pretty recent one for me or one that I've been working over the past couple of years is the example of my mother and uh, all the physical and verbal abuse I endured um, as early as uh, in, in fetus, um, in utero. Uh, my mom still drank and smoked. And then when I came out, um, was born, um, you know, I was, I was treated pretty poorly. Um, from the food that was given to me, um, nourishment, to the lack of affection and even physical abuse that I endured. And my human part is very, very fucking angry. Still, um, still, I'm still working through some of these more recent memories of um, the mistreatment. And so it's it's okay. I need to allow that part of me to accept this did happen and these are my emotions and different belief systems that I picked up from it. And I do my best then to soothe that part of me with what is true now and to help her to feel and release that anger, that fear, um, et cetera. And from a soul perspective, right? So that's what I do with my human piece. And from a soul perspective, I know that I chose my mother. Did I know how bad the abuse was going to be? I don't know. I'm not sure. But I knew the potential was there. I knew the potential was there. And so why would I have chose something like that? Well, there's a couple of different reasons. One is the more contrast we have, in this case, contrast to receiving love, the more healing around self-love I can have. And then, of course, help others to do that as well, which is one of the big things I'm um, here to do on the planet. So that's one example. Now I'm going to give an example where I did something quote unquote wrong that I should forgive myself for. So I can't tell you how many abusive partnerships I stayed in, allowed myself to stay in for a long time, longer than anyone would, you know, want to stay in those. And so I could beat myself up for that. And I could say I should forgive myself for that, but really I need to accept myself and that I did stay as long as I did because one, 
I had all of this um, trauma and these belief systems around I deserved because I got it as a child, right? I had this belief system that unconsciously that I deserved to be abused, that I deserved to be in abusive relationships. That is what I deserve because I got it from both mom and dad, physically, verbally, sexually. So accepting why I stayed in those relationships so long because I held this belief. And then once I was able to see it and shift it to a certain degree, I no longer stayed and I no longer attracted those types of relationships that mirrored those of my parents, how I was treated as a child. So I don't need to forgive myself. I need to accept, yeah, of course I did that. Of course I stayed in abusive, uh, I attracted and stayed in abusive relationships because that's what I learned I deserved as a child until as an adult, my higher self showed up, my divine parent showed up and was able to show me that that just because I had it as a child doesn't mean that I deserved it now, right? So overcoming those challenges that we asked for. And the best way, right? Our souls are here to heal, grow and evolve. What is gonna help us do that the most? Contrast, or another way to say that is pain. So those are just two examples. I could give many, many more but I'm gonna stop there. And so I invite you to take a few moments or longer to write a list. I want you to reflect on the past and all the things other people did to you. I want you to, I'm gonna recommend you do two lists. One list, others wronged me. And then the other list is, you know, what I did wrong, quote unquote wrong. And I say quote unquote, because there is no right or wrong according to our soul. So I invite you to write a list of past experiences where you were wronged and where you did something quote unquote wrong. And I want you to really go in and look at each one of these with the through the eyes of acceptance. Again, both from the soul level and then working with the human part of you. What does he or she you know? First of all, just validate and accept what happened with this part of you. And number two, what emotions does he or she feel regarding it and accept, validate those, help them to feel and release it. One of my best tools to do that is the self-healing, a self-healing process. And then move into a soul perspective and ask yourself, why might I have as a soul chosen to do this or to experience this, someone else doing this to me? So not a small, simple task, but really powerful in order to shift into acceptance. And again, forgiveness is not required. It may happen at some point, but honestly, I don't even feel like it needs to. Again, acceptance is where it's at these days. So if you would like more support with this acceptance versus forgiveness. You can find some ways to do that below. And again, feel free to share this with anybody that you feel would benefit. Um, again, we are all here as leaders and we're all here to support and uplift and encourage each other, not save each other. We can't do that. Every soul is here to save itself. You can't save another soul. And I just want to, again, say thank you so much for having the courage and the willingness to do this deeper consciousness work, this deeper healing work. And I can't just tell you how, you know, how many times I, I hear, oh, that's, I've, I've already worked through that. I'm here to tell you that we have so many layers in this lifetime that we are here to heal in past lives, uh, from past lives, from our ancestors, et cetera. And it, it takes a lot of courage. And so I honor you and I send you even more courage and love. And I look forward to supporting you in a deeper way very soon. So thank you for joining me for today's Evolve podcast. And may it support you to connect with the power of your soul, to rise above your limits and to give and receive more love in all forms. Namaste.